I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. Whatever I can do to help, you can count on me. So you'd rather trust Clementine's life with this incompetent fuck than with me? I'll stay behind and work on the boat. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <coughs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... Don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Just some surgical supplies.
a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Have these doors open in two seconds. You got any better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still got to do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine, and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss, well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But... You're gonna die. Yeah. But not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? See if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. Sounds good. Are you alive? Get up! <coughs> I'm alive. You have to pull yourself up. Good job.
Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? It seems like it, but that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. Like, if things are happening. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. Not going back in there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't gonna let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this, day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. It's an extension ladder. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion in River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay, but you still have to get over there. You came with me. You didn't think I would? Just with all we've been through, it seemed like the only reasonable thing to do. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. I'll make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. I including me? Getting bitten's not that bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. But try not to worry about it. 
What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. Need to get off this roof. some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. <clears throat> Try to find another way out of there? way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back fuck be careful Just a little hop. Est-ce que ça va être un fail? Let's get the hell out of here! So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus. Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. How you doing with, uh... Everything happening there? We were going to cut it off. But Lee objected. We're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? 
It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here. So keep an eye on me. <sighs> Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Krista's right. Boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive, or dead, or walkers, or worse, and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben. I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny, look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi! What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! <laughs> Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Shh. Everybody. We have to hide, and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient, and then we get going. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! New plan! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this!
see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Okay. Lee still bitten. <clears throat> Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon yeah. Kent the Third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, dammit. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will. Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. 
what's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot tall. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. It's tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's got to be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. I be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? He'll figure himself out one way or another. What do you mean by that? He'll either get his act together, or something will happen to him. That's it? What else is there to say? He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone, too. He's fine, okay? Chill. I know you want to get out of here. Omid's making good progress. I'm fine. I miss my family. That's all. Appreciate you asking, though. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. 
Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. After everything, you still a bastard, you know, Ken? Been hearing that my whole life, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead.
Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Well, keep an eye out. Ow! Oh, I'm okay! I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh. Quiet, Beard. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, oh. He's quiet. We can take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Okay. I'm going. Good. Get back up there. Now! What are you gonna do? Fucking go! You sons of bitches! Oh, fuck! Kenny! What happened? I couldn't do anything. Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and... It was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. We needed more bullets. You needed a miracle. It's not your fault, Lee. I can't believe it. You saw them die?
I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe he did get away. I don't know. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? That's two on him now. The motherfucker's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time. But I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I just saw your friends get killed. I mean before. Back in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. Fuck. Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. You gotta know where the next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fuck it. 
I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car. 
Out front, then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? <clears throat> it wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. 
I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her, and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. <coughs> Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. way out. Through there. I'll 
to the hallway. stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Mode camouflage. So and you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Maman et papa. Sure. Clementine, we have 
have to get out of here as fast as we can. We can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. See? Clementine, honey. What? What happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. The way out is through there, Clem. I know. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. He's, he's trapped. This 
This'll be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything he'll need. to kill it! Watch out! Take good care of you. 
Et voilà la fin de l'épisode 5, enfin presque. Donc non, je n'ai pas enlevé le bras, il y a seulement 28 joueurs qui l'ont gardé. Répercussion. Ok. Ok, étranger. Ah oui, sans doute en gardant son arme. Que vie ne se transforme pas. Ok. Protéger Ben en fait, c'est pas, pas, pas protéger ou en. Cette chanson. Take us back, go, oh, take us back, go, oh, take us, take us back. 
when the higher hills have turned to blue and the waves are lapping where the children pour ceux qui auraient loupé tout ou partie, euh, je pense la mettre sur, le, sur YouTube.